So we're over at uh, at my mum's house. I've just been to check up on her. She's doing all right, really, considering she's not poorly, but she's just really suffering with uh, COPD, and that's a real massive worry for me. So uh, we spoke outside. I didn't go into the house. Kept a distance. We were stood meters away from each other. Just asked her if there's anything that she needed. She seems fine. She's got food, she's got water. She's struggling a little bit on getting inhalers from the doctor, which is absolutely balmy. But every time she needs a renewal on her inhalers, they give her the runaround, which I think is absolutely shameful. It's Riverside Surgery in Retford. They're beginning to get quite a bad reputation, actually, for, uh, you know, how kind of blasé they are about the whole situation but I suppose they're under a lot of pressure well they've been like this for months though so it's not been under a lot of pressure so yeah as I was saying uh, they do give me mum a run around a little bit with the uh, medication but she's all right for those of you who want to know fingers crossed this COVID-19 COVID-19 thing passes without her picking it up so here's a little sketch of uh, the chicken pen that we're going to be making over the few next few days and i've got a parts list here the cutting list from what i showed you the other day online and also this is dominic's desk and drawers which he's going to have uh, for his bedroom and again the cutting list there and we've got all of the ply Lent up against this fermenter, ready to go through the table saw when, oh, when I've actually got, not the time to do it, but the inclination at the moment. So you can see we've got some beer out here, which really could do with going into storage for the foreseeable future. So what I'm gonna do, because the weather's warmed up this weekend, is I'm gonna turn on our cooler so down here you see that sat at 7.5 degrees just about so this is the glycol chiller which will in turn keep all of our cold rooms cold so first things first we want to obviously be looking after the uh, the hops 10 degrees at the minute so We'll take that down to five. Let's turn that on. And then conditioning room two. Let's get this bad boy lit up. We'll take that down to 10 degrees, that's fine. So that shouldn't be a big burden on the, uh, on the system. And we'll take that one. Oh, that's set for a warm room, that is. So uh, let's just change that. We want this to be a cold room, not a warm room, so we'll just bring this down to 10 degrees. Cell attempts uh, above 10 degrees, so holding everything at 10 is going to be fine. There we go. So I'm guessing the temperature in the unit is around 10 degrees then. It feels pretty chilly. Oh, we've got 13.9 up there, which isn't far off. So yes, there we are. Here's a mini keg that I can take home if I need to. That's got vacant and proof of concept mixed in it. It was the end of a line. Didn't want to see it go to waste. And then at some point, we're gonna to have to dry hop the best bitter and dry hop the vacant gesture, which we've got three tanks off over here. So the temperature's dropped on this one already. This one's still sitting at 19 so that one's not finished but it looks like these two are we'll give them another day we'll come and dry up them in fact i might drop them into stasis beforehand put the dry ops in when we come out the other side of this lockdown situation so into the pub everything still sat in silence we've still got that uh, nine of bitter just sat there going out of date that's a bastard isn't it really 
I might take some of that home with me, I don't know. I don't know, I'll have to get a corny keg to put it in. But, hmm. Everything is just sat in suspended animation. For how long? We just do not know. Let's hope that this is actually helping the cellar dry out a little bit. As you can see, 77% is quite wet, but that's the lowest it's actually ever been. So with this uh, closed down, we are getting the floor to dry out a little bit. All of the moisture's coming up through the brick. This is brick on, brick on soil basically in here. And through here, this is just uh, like quarry tile on soil. Over there you can see where we had the accident where the whole stillage punched through the floor and I've had to underpin it. That was a crazy situation. So let's nip upstairs and have a look how the freezer's doing. That's one main area of concern that we've had over the past couple of days to make sure that this stock that we've frozen down. Oh look, there's Tom's boots. Yeah, make sure the stock that we've frozen down stays in good condition. Oh, beautiful. Minus 19. That's perfect. That's perfect. Yeah. And we're frozen down here as well. Look at that. Perfect. So we've got our ribeye steaks sat at minus 19 just what the doctor ordered so I'll tell you what I have come in for today we're gonna take some of these mushrooms home because they're not gonna survive another day these ones look all right and we're gonna take some of these tomatoes home because I've been eating them as you noticed on my breakfast this morning they are really quite nice so let's take plenty of them. Yummy, yummy mushrooms. Yummy tomatoes. I'll pop them back in the fridge. And also, this butter's got a short date on it as well, so I'll be taking that. Everything else still turned off. Hey, bye, gum lad. It's a bloody crazy situation. Shall we have a look if we've had any post delivered? So we've had a parcel delivered and it is too large for the letterbox. Collect the next working day from the office. And we've got a bank statement. Right, well that's that folks. I guess uh, well, let's go back home, I think. Essential supplies, of course. Right, we've come home. Everything's done for the day. We've eaten and uh, we've just started to notice that some of the eggs have begun to pip. So I think we might finish off today's vlog. Just waiting to see if we get any little chicks out tonight. <laughs>